Hello friends, so here is another question on full wave rectifier. So it has been given that a full wave rectifier, it has a center tap, tap transformer with the center tapped point secondary RMS voltage of 100 volt. And each one of the diodes is rated at the maximum diode current is equal to 400 milliampere I max and the DC value or average value of the diode current is equal to 150 milliampere. This is the ratings that are given. And neglecting the voltage drop across the diodes, that is the diodes have zero forward resistance. We have to determine the value of the load resistor that gives us the largest DC power output, the DC load voltage and current and the peak inverse voltage for each diode. Okay. And it has been given an extra note, extra information that the maximum value of the current flowing through the diode for normal operation must not exceed 80% of its rated current. So these rated values that are given here, I max and I average, uh, the maximum value, it should not exceed 80% of this maximum current that is 400 milliampere. Okay, so we'll uh, come to that later. Okay. So first drawing the circuit diagram, first we have the supply voltage, then the primary winding, then we have the secondary winding, and then we have the two diodes with zero forward resistance then we have the center tap point then the load resistance this is connected to ground D1 D2 okay then this here RL is unknown, we have to determine it, here RF is equal to 0 ohm for both D1 and D2. Another thing that is given here is that from the center tap point, okay, the RMS value of the center tap voltage is equal to 100 volt. Here also the same, VCT RMS is equal to 100 volt so that is only given here the supply voltage not, no information about that the turns ratio nothing about that I don't think it is required because it already we are given the center tapped RMS voltage that is the 100 volt that so now we have to determine first the maximum value VCT max center tap maximum voltage which is equal to VCT RMS into root 2 because for sinusoidal AC supply RMS value is equal to maximum value by root 2 so maximum is equal to RMS into root 2 so here it is 100 into root 2 volts which is equal to 141 0.4 volts that is the maximum value of this this is v max okay 141.4 volts here this now the rated maximum current okay i max rated is given at 400 milliampere okay it is given here and also it has been given that the actual current okay the actual maximum current it is 80 percent of the rated value 400 milliampere which is equal to 320 milliampere this is the actual maximum current for safe operation okay for safe operation of the diode so here we have v max 
equals to 141.4 volt I max for safe operation at 320 milliampere maximum power the, the maximum DC power output is obtained when it is both of them voltage and current are maximum so the load resistance value RL is equal to V max by I max which is equal to 141.4 volt by 320 into 10 to the power minus 3 ampere and that is equal to it is coming around 442 ohm okay load resistance RL okay this now uh, here the DC load voltage or the output voltage okay the DC load voltage VDC that is equal to 2 V max by pi we have already calculated V max is equal to 141.4 volt so that is equal to here 2 into 141.4 by pi this much volts that is equal to it is coming around uh, it's coming around 90 volts rounding it off okay, 19 volts and the DC load current DC that is equal to VDC by RL okay the DC voltage appears across the load VLDC that by RL this is nothing but the DC value of the output which appears across the load VLDC or VDC whatever you want to write that is equal to 90 by RL which we have calculated that is equal to 442 and that is equal to 0 0.2 204 ampere okay this so this is the dc load current this is the dc load voltage then the peak inverse voltage as we all know for center tapped full wave rectifier the peak inverse voltage is twice of the maximum voltage is equal to 2 into 141.4 which is equal to 282.8 volts this is the peak inverse voltage ok this. ok this is the peak inverse voltage ok hello friends so here is another question on full wave rectifier so it is given that a full wave rectifier nothing has been mentioned about what type of rectifier it is whether it is center tapped or bridge it is only given that a full wave rectifier it delivers 50 watt power to a load of 200 ohms if the ripple factor is 1% calculate the AC ripple voltage across the load okay so it's a very good question some new concepts here such as ripple voltage ripple factor we have already discussed in half wave uh, and also in full wave rectifier so this ripple voltage we will understand okay so uh, no matter what type of rectifier it is it is given that this is the load resistance let's say which is 200 ohm and the power delivered to this uh, load resistance RL okay DC power it is because uh, rectification basically converts AC to DC so this DC power across the load is equal to 50 watt okay 
that is you can express it as IDC square into RL or VDC square by RL anyway it is correct okay now let us use this VDC square by RL so VDC square by RL which is 200 ohm is equal to 50 watt okay that implies VDC square is equal to 50 into 200 that implies VDC is equal to root over of 50 into 200 and that is equal to it is coming around 100 volts that is the DC value of the voltage okay this now if you remember the formula of ripple factor be it for half wave rectifier or full wave rectifier that is equal to root over of RMS voltage divided by DC voltage whole square minus 1 this if we you know manipulate this we can write it as V RMS square by V DC square minus 1 or we can write it as V RMS square minus V DC square by V DC square or we can write it as root over of V RMS square minus V DC square by V DC only because root over of V DC square is equal to V DC. Now here this parameter in the numerator V RMS square minus V DC square root over that is called as the AC ripple voltage this and we have been given that this ripple factor okay this one that is this ratio of root over of VRMS square minus VDC square by VDC is equal to 1% which is equal to 0 0.01 so basically this ripple voltage by VDC is equal to the ripple factor is equal to 0 0.01 okay this numerator is nothing but the AC ripple voltage which I was discussing so that implies the ripple voltage is equal to 0 0.01 into VDC VDC is nothing but 100 volt which we have calculated here 100 volt so simply will substitute it here 100 volt so that is equal to 1 volt the AC ripple voltage is equal to 1 volt okay which was asked to find out the AC component of the output the ripple voltage which is equal to 1 volt this was asked so we calculated it so the important thing here is to manipulate the ripple factor expression which is RMS by DC whole square minus 1 so we wrote it in this way we opened the you know the square we opened the bracket VRMS square by VDC square minus 1 then we took VDC square LCM then VRMS square minus VDC square by VDC square then the top the numerator we expressed as root over of VRMS square minus VDC square by VDC this numerator here is the AC ripple voltage so ripple factor can also be written as the ratio between the AC ripple voltage and the DC voltage or it can also be expressed in terms of current as the AC ripple current and the DC current same thing okay this okay